conversation and we had lots of different topics that we had covered. But we'd love your take, you just mentioned the keywords and semantics and what were some of the highlights of that conversation? Um, I think it was interesting just to hear the different uh, sides, so whether someone's a publisher or you know, a marketer, um, kind of how, how unsure and unclear people really are on what they're actually using and buying and what these filters are, so not everyone was aware whether or not it even is semantic based and whether um, you know, they're, they have kill on the list, but it could be like the example they used was kill the lights or you know, kill someone, obviously one's acceptable and one's not, and where do you draw the line? And uh, in terms of, uh, we also talked about whitelisting and blacklisting of sites. And um, I would love your take on, on what, what did you feel that um, uh, was kind of like, what was the pulse of the room in terms of, of, of having that kind of uh, strategy? Um, so one of the struggles that we have as media buyers um, is blacklisting doesn't work quite as well as we would like. Um, when the exchanges are involved, a lot of things become blind URLs that can slip through. Um, so the converse, of course, was brought up as why don't we just whitelist? Uh, that really limits our buy. It also becomes much more of a content-specific targeting instead of an audience-specific targeting, which is what many clients want nowadays. You know, with the big data as the hot topic, so it's sort of a constant balance, and seems like it's across the industry sort of a struggle and a balance of how do we audience target but also maintain brand safety um, without moving to a whitelist. And uh, I think uh, the, the last topic that we talked about was this idea of you know what is better for the uh, our advertisers as well as when we're working with publishers is uh, and the balance of open marketplace inventory versus private marketplace deals. Um, so I think the key word that you just used there was balance. You know, I think that we really do have to find a balance where we have a good amount of private marketplaces in, in this inventory that we know is what we're looking for and of the highest quality while still being able to buy in the open market um, with against data segments and you know audience buys um, and feeling safe about it and secure and that's obviously the key point but it's not realistic to be able to do all private marketplaces or again we're missing out on that whole point of audience buying um, but yeah the balance is really the key word and feeling good about both types. Yep. And there, is, there was one more topic that we talked about and that was, uh, that was the, um, how should I say it, who in the chain or in the supply chain uh, really should be accountable? You know, there was a, a, several opinions about: is it the advertiser, uh, the agency, the ad exchange, the DSPs, and so forth? Um, how did you feel the room reacted to that? Um, yeah, I think what started this was sort of just people bringing up the fact that there are. 10 people needed to run a campaign. Everyone has to work with a ton of vendors to even get to the point where that campaign's running. And then the second part is of those 10 vendors, you know, where does the accountability lie? Um, it seemed like there were a few opinions of the room, um, both of which were on, kind of in middle places. So either the DSP or the SSP or the exchange. Um, you know, the, the, publisher, the, the publishers are sort of doing their part in the sense that they're already a a premium publisher. The problem is that in between where it's a publisher and a, and the supply getting into the exchanges, um, bad content, fake content, bots are getting involved. And so there's got to be some onus in there. Um, you know, in my opinion, it's on the exchange or the supply side to be that filter because they're the first place it hits. I totally agree with that last statement, uh, having coming from the agency side as well. Well, thank you so much for, for uh, being our um, representative at our town hall. Have a great day.